Hello, I'm Rex Pasterfield, and I'd like to welcome you to a video about my Qualcomm Rex Duck. Back in 2022, ring mod sign chaining first became a thing, and this was on the Renoise forum, and I provided a link in the background info folder so you can uh, watch the video and read the information there. The basic idea is to take a kick drum and rectify it, make it negative going and feed that into one input of a ring modulator. And the other input to the ring modulator is a bass signal. So when you get a kick drum happen, the bass is ducked very, very quickly during the kick drum and follows the contour of the kick drum at sample rate. In my opinion, ring modulation is not an appropriate term because we're not using a ring modulator as a four quadrant multiplier, but as a two quadrant multiplier. So it's basically a gain control element. So I guess the term ring mod side chaining uh, became the term used because a ring modulator was pressed into service as a gain controller. The advantage of this technique is that it's very, very fast, unlike a sidechain compressor or docker, which will have a certain delay in the envelope follower. The disadvantage of this technique is that the bass signal becomes distorted by the variation of amplitude of the kick or whatever else you're feeding into the side chain. It's possible you may like this uh, crunch sound that you get when the kick hits and affects the bass, but it's also possible that it's in some music it's going to be unsuitable. So I set myself the task of creating something that used this uh, docking technique but produced less distortion while still giving a, a very fast response, hence the Qualcomm Rex Dock. On this plugin you have the choice of the regular rectified side chain or the Rex Dock technique, so you can choose which one is suitable and uh, hear the difference between them. So for the audio demonstrations I've made this set up and I'll talk about the routing briefly. For a worst case scenario which shows the effect the best I've set up a single tone, the tone generator at 77 Hertz which provides a sine wave which is the cleanest sound you can get so we'll uh, show the effect of the distortion better. This sine wave is rooted into the bass and dock channel that's the main input to the Qualcomm dock. The bass sine is not fed to the master bus the master bus is fed from the output from this plugin. The kick and the snare are rooted in the same way, so uh, they go, it goes to the master channel and the audio also goes to inputs 3 and 4 of the rec stock, which is the side chain input and this is pre fader pre-effects so that you can alter the level in the final mix down here. I think maybe I've made that sound more complex than it really is. In actual fact, it's pretty straightforward if you're used to sidechain inputs. For this next part of the demo, I've soloed the bass and dock, and also, of course, the dialogue microphone, so you can hear me and... Uh, we'll zoom in onto the Rackstock plugin GUI. So first I'll demo the uh, classic rectified sidechain 
I'll turn on the bass and start. Okay, so you can see the distortion there. Yeah, and also here in the following sine wave cycles. Now I'll switch to the rec stuck. And here you can see the very, very fast response when the kick happens. And an increase in amplitude with virtually no distortion. We can monitor the output, which is what you would record or hear. This is the side chain of the kick. listening to it. This is the control signal. You can turn some of these traces off if you want. So you see the distortion on the control signal there. Finally we can mix the output and the side chain. The dry wet enables you to reduce the effect of the docking by introducing uh, the original base input according to the dry wet settings. At minimum, there is no docking. And you can do this for the conventional rectification as well, of course. Not so effective. The range knob sets the gain uh, on the side chain going into the system and because the values are limited this can produce um, quite a wide range of effects so i'll switch to rex duck starting off and you'll notice then you can get some classic pumping effect because there's um a long blanked out period of the base. So you can hear the bass effectively pumping. So if you double click this knob, you'll get set to 0.5 and you don't really get any pumping, especially when you listen to it in combination with the actual kick. Because the kick masks the docking. Now I'll switch over to feeding the snare into the side chain. This is normal rectification. That's the rec stock. You can still hear some distortion because there's so much in the uh, snare signal going up and down. I 
when you bring in the actual snare, it's not so bad. because of the masking effect. So that's my Qualcomm Rex Duck. Now there are other free plugins available which do a similar thing, most notably the uh, Kilohertz Compactor. But you don't have to give me your email address, create an account, have a download manager or anything like that. And also, you get this Rex mode, which you may or may not like. And if you're interested in the details of how the uh, the Rex stock mode actually works, it's in the user guide. So, until the next time, bye!